Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel. If you want to get this everyday makeup look, just keep watching and subscribe to my channel for a lot more cool looks. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be putting my hair up so it's not in my way of doing this tutorial. Um, I always put my hair up before I do my makeup because it is long and I don't like it in my way. Primer I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced Hangover. I love this stuff. You don't need much of it. Um, I just put it in my T-zone area. Mm, it smells so good. So today I'm just doing like a um, like basic everyday look. I mean, I guess it's not too basic if I'm using the YSL foundation, but I am doing an everyday look. I got my beauty blender right here. I'm just gonna pump my two squirts out and I'm gonna start blending this in. I love this foundation um, a lot. It smells really good. Um, it does give you the full coverage, which I love. Blend, blend, blend. I love using blue, uh, beauty blenders, <laughs> beauty blenders, beauty blenders to uh, blend my foundation out. Like sometimes I'll use like a brush, but I feel like a beauty blender is easier and it just gives you a better look. I don't know if you guys hear my dog snoring, but he is. Oh. If you guys could see him right now, he looks so precious. He's so cute, I love him. I'm actually gonna need more. I don't know, I feel like I like a lot of foundation. I mean, who doesn't, right? <laughs> I like to bring it down to my neck because if the foundation's like darker than your skin, which it usually is because your face is usually tanner than everything else, then it will look weird if you don't bring it down and then you just have, you know, your face one color and then <laughs> your neck another. That was the YSL All Hours Foundation. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow brush and the pomade in dark brown. I'm just gonna go up and kind of just follow my eyebrow. Just to make them look a little fuller where my hair is kind of missing. Just brush it in. And now I'm gonna go back and do this one too. So to carve my eyes out with concealer, I'm just gonna go in with an angle liner, just regular brush. Um, just a small like brush that looks like that you could use. I'm gonna use the Master Conceal um, by Face Studio. And then I'm just gonna 
conceal around the eyebrow. Just like that and then I'm gonna go back in and do the same to the other one now I'm gonna go in and conceal under my eyes um, my nose I'll show you guys I'm gonna be using the makeup forever ultra HD um, the color is I believe r22 that on my hand and now I'm gonna use my finger and just go in I love concealer honestly I don't know what I would do without it what would we do without concealer literally what would we do As you can tell, I use a lot of concealer, um, even on my everyday look, I like to pop, you know, can never go wrong with concealer, guys, I'm sure you know that. It's a little sloppy because I'm using my fingers, but... You could always use a brush. Oh, I guess we're gonna conceal over my eye again. It's okay. And then I always wanna put some up here. Because everything on your face that's supposed to be highlighted kind of goes like that. So everything around here needs to be highlighted. Um. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with a beauty blender and just blend it all out. Okay, so for um, like an everyday eye look, I don't really do too much with my eyeshadow. I'll usually just grab, you know, like a regular or any contour palette or bronzer and just go in with that. Just to make it look like, you know, you at least tried. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M441. And I'm gonna use this color right here, chestnut. And just kind of um, go around my crease.
just windshield wiper hand movements. Kind of just let the brush do everything. Do the same thing with the other eye. I'm gonna go in and do like a little contour, not really bronzer kind of look, bronzy kind of look. I'm gonna go in with my um, Chicathon palette by Benefit. I love this. I literally use it all the time. I'm gonna go in with the color Hulu, <laughs> Hula. I cannot. So I'm kind of just gonna line this up with my cheekbones from where my like ear starts like that and just back and forth back and forth you got to blend it out It is an everyday look, but we like to stand out and be popping, so. A little extra, ain't ever hurt nobody. <laughs> Seriously, that's what I live by, that's my motto. Not even gonna front. <laughs> Blend, blend, blend. I like to go up in my hairline. So you can't see like where my makeup started. There's definitely little hairs coming off this benefit brush. I like to put some right here just for like definition. Yes, guys, I am still going in with my Cheekathon palette. Kind of forgot that again for a second. Had to had to think about it. Cheekathon. Okay, I like to go under here too. Kind of do like a three. Three. You guys see where I'm going with this? I'm gonna go in with the um, Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. Love this stuff. I am literally obsessed. I'm just gonna go in with the Morphe M433. Is that popping or no? That's popping. I love this highlighter. It is literally the bomb.com. I like to put some right here along my nose. Cupid's bow. You can't forget the Cupid's bow. I feel like when you highlight your Cupid's bow, it just really makes, you know, your makeup stand out more. It really does. I like to put some on top of my eyebrow too so I can be lit. And then a little bit over here. Now, guys, I'm going to go in with the Lux 207 medium angled brush. I know it's an eyeshadow brush, but I am going to contour my nose out. I'm going to use the Cheekathon palette yet again. 
Like I said, I use it all the time. And I'm going to use the Hulu color again. And we are going to start carving the nose. Yes. Just like that, I'm going to go back in with the, oh, here it is the champagne pop highlighter and just a little extra i kind of forgot i'm doing the everyday makeup look guys but i honestly this is what i do every day a little extra but like i said extra doesn't hurt anybody okay oh just dropped my beauty blender it's okay all right so for the lips, I am going to use the Kylie Posey K Lip Liner. Oh, it is like, oh, it did just fall out. Oh, God. Still going to use it, though. Just going to go in and outline my lips. I love this color. I do like to fill it in with the lip liner because sometimes I'll just do like a lip gloss over top or I don't know. I just like being extra, especially when it comes down to makeup. And now I'm gonna go in with the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Now for the eyes, um, I usually do wear eyelashes, but since I'm being like really extra with this everyday look, we're not going to put falsies on. We are just going to do mascara. For mascara, I am going to be using the Scandal Eyes Curve Alert Mascara by Rimmel London. It is a drugstore um, mascara, but I do love this mascara so much. Like, it literally makes your eyelashes look like they're falsies, but they're real. Like, you see that already? That was just one, one, like, swipe. <laughs> this stuff is amazing. That happens all the time. If that happens, you know, just grab your finger and wipe it off. Or grab whatever you want. But I always just... Did I say grab my finger? Grab your finger? How do you grab something that's all... Okay, guys. So, I'm also going to go back in with the Champagne Pop highlighter and just put it in the middle of my eyelid. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, <laughs> Beverly Hills. I feel like I said heels. Okay, clear um, brow gel. Those 
monster my dogs. Again, ruining my video. I'm sorry guys, I hope you guys love animals. All right, and to finish my look, I am gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix and just Okay guys, so that is it for my look today. Um, this is an everyday makeup look, but it's extra glam.